Tana Mojo and Bella Thorne get messy on Twitter after Tana was seen hanging out with Bella's ex. Plus, James Charles receives backlash after he claims that all YouTube drama channels should be canceled. Majority of them are absolutely awful. I think they should all be deleted. Finally, a little checkup on America's favorite ex-college student, Olivia Jade. Apparently, her relationship with her mom, Lori Laughlin, aka Aunt Becky, is finally on the mend. I've got the latest on this and the rest of this YouTube news right now, so stay tuned. <laughs> How's it going guys? I'm Madison Hill. There's a lot of mess that we need to sift through here, so let's make this quick. Give this video a share, make sure you're subscribed, and don't forget the notification bell. If you've already done all that, then tell a friend, because sharing is caring. Okay, first up, let's just get this one out of the way and update on Olivia Jade. You all know that Olivia Jade completely fell off the map when it was revealed that her parents were arrested as part of the FBI's Operation Varsity Blues. Olivia's parents are accused of paying upwards of $500,000 dollars to get her and her older sister into USC under the assumption that they were recruits from the women's crew team, which granted them direct admittance into college, despite neither of them ever having participated in the sport. Since this all came out, Olivia moved out of her parents' home because they, you know, ruined her life. She also went silent on social media and her YouTube channel. Honestly, the only time we've seen her lately is when she was out at clubs with her other influencer friends, despite not being 21. But hey, that's just a minor detail. However, now we have an update on how after all of this, her relationship with her mom is finally on the mend, even though her mom is facing a ton of prison time and still claiming to be innocent. But again, minor details. In a new report from Entertainment Tonight, a source revealed the drama between Olivia and her parents has died down since the initial shock of it all. The source went on to say, quote, their family situation has improved. Lori knows they will all grow and learn. Things are better than they were. Time is helping heal. Personally, it doesn't sound like any real lessons have been learned thus far, but hey, that's just my opinion. Moving on, let's talk about the sister himself, James Charles. Recently, James appeared on a panel for Herdwell along with other creators and made the claim that all drama channels need to be taken off YouTube. I believe in freedom of speech for sure, <laughs> but almost always they're never it's like it's never like news it's always like based on assumptions james went on to say that some drama channels will upload videos minutes within something happening he claims that there is no way proper research or both sides of a situation can be explored in that time therefore most of the time these channels are just uploading videos with certain titles to get views james admitted that he's blocked these channels from showing up on his personal youtube and then he continued to share how to do the same with others. Now, because of this, obviously a lot of drama channels got upset, but not because James was making comments on their content, but more so because they have proof he's tried to use them for his own personal gain in the past. Creator after creator came for James on social media to point out the irony in his comments, and for someone who also thrives on catchy titles and tea, I just find this whole thing ridiculous. Which brings us to our last topic of conversation, Tana Mojo and Bella Thorne. Okay, so as you all know, these two were in a relationship at the same time that Bella was also dating Maud's son. They all went their separate ways a few months ago, and while Bella and Maud have had some social media drama, which led us to believe they're not cool with one another, Bella and Tana have always remained friendly. However, that's all changed because earlier this week, Tana was spotted out with Maud's son and Bella let it be known she's not okay with it. Bella kicked off the drama saying, Tana and I are no longer good. She broke girl code, I'm over it. To which Tana responded saying, uh, imagine taking every time you're mad at me to Twitter, but then telling people how much you care about me. WTF is this B? Bella hit her again with a one-two punch saying, you legit started dating me for Twitter. How about you answer your phone and talk to me instead of being on Twitter? Aside from this being great advertising for Twitter, I think both ladies are making this a way bigger issue than it needs to be. I totally get Bella being upset. Tana's one of her great friends and it's not easy to see her hanging out with her ex and Tana should have 1000% given her a heads up. But did this whole thing warrant a Twitter fight and public falling out? In my opinion, no, but let me know your thoughts. While you're at it, let me know anything about James Charles wanting to cancel drama channels and that Olivia Jade update. Let it out down below. For more entertainment news, make sure to check out our live show, The Morning Tea. We go live every day at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. While you're at it, shop the Holly Scoop store. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.